Hello everyone, Michael Townley here, and today I'll be talking I'll be talking to you about the Caltrain's MP15 DCs of Engines of Caltrain. Now, if you don't know about this series, it's where I discuss about the commuter rail service of Caltrain and their de- and their locomotives throughout their fleets of years. Uh, I also will. I also will be crediting Amtrak Guy Three Six Five for the for the for the inspiration of this. He makes engines. He he makes engines of Amtrak, which he still. I I don't know. Just let's just get on with the video about the MP Fifteen DC. If you don't know about these locomotives, if back back then back then if you don't know about these locomotives, they served Caltrain for like. Rarely. I mean, that's how good Caltrain is. So, Caltrain wanted some shunter locomotives because sh- because the because the the California train the California F forty PHs and the gallery cars sh- sometimes break down. So what? So what the Southern Pacific Railroad did was order f- about f- order four of. Ordered four of these from 501 to 504, and and shunt around San Jose Yard and halt a little and halt a little bit of freight. Sometimes they even sometimes they even sometimes they even stick to the front of a broken down cow train. But how? But how? Sometimes they even go to the back. Sometimes they even lead a, a broken down cow train. If you see. I've caught one about last. I caught one. I caught one about a few years ago. I, I've caught one about a few days ago. I caught JP. I got. I caught. Um. I caught JP. BX five oh four. A five oh four, and uh, it was leading back. Sometimes they lead backwards, or you could see them. Ha- ha- uh, um, halting a hopper. Tra- halting a ho- hoppers, and so putting them to the Union Pacific. These these locomotives served well for Caltrain, and they still they still haul to this day. Some they still might even they still might even they still might even stay with Caltrain if it gets when it gets electrified, if it breaks if the if a train breaks down. It hauls Metrolink cars in the San Jose yard. Hey, that rhymes. So, and it's and it even hauls behind cow in front of cow trains er, almost every day. But any but back then when Caltrain didn't have its new paint scheme, they just sold out as a Southern Pacific MP15 DC, which was really weird because they just yet let. I mean, why did they just use another freight locomotive? I mean, I don't know. But they, but maybe they did. I don't know. But before the, but sometimes if the MP15 DZs all were all busy, they Caltrain decided to add a double header. A double header means a Caltrain F40 PH dash two dash dash two D were. I mean, I mean two C uh, was uh was tr- was um in the ba- was in the front of the train and was called a double header with two locomotives in the in the air in the same on the same train. The 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 M the the MP the MP fifteen DC was most like was most likely a good shunter locomotive to fr- to haul any fr- to haul any freight in the area. However, Caltrain wasn't really a freight-suited air, freight-suited service, so they decided not really to uh, serve freight. So they just decided to haul trains that are needed to put put that are just needed to be helped by. So I just called this train a helper unit. Anyway, that's the end of this. Tr- that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm. I apologize if it was really fucking short. I. I'm sorry. So, but still, I will be talking about the SD nines. I will be talking about the two SD nines in Caltrain throughout the, throughout the day, and I'll be talking about Southern Pacific's locals and gallery cars. That also, goodbye.